people in eastern Ontario and western Quebec were ambushed by a sudden and violent storm yesterday. For many, it was a terrifying moment. The tornado scored a direct hit on a car dealership in Quebec and tore through communities in its path. The damage it left behind is devastating. Hundreds of homes and buildings have been damaged. Some were completely wiped out. There are no reports of deaths, but a number of people were taken to hospital, and some of them are in serious or critical condition. It touched down first in Dunrobin, just north of the center of the capital region. Then it moved from west to east, crossing the Ottawa River, where it hit communities in Gatineau, on the Quebec side of the provincial border, carving a path of destruction all along the way. Now, around 200,000 customers are still without power in the Ottawa area. Many are staying in local shelters. The CBC's Ottawa Bureau Chief, Rob Russo, is in one of the hardest hit neighborhoods. We're going to take you down Greenbank Road. This is one of the main thoroughfares in suburban Nepean, one of the biggest suburbs of Ottawa. We're going to start over my right shoulder right here. We've got at least four or five of these telephone poles that have effectively been snapped in half. They're leaning down like old gentlemen is what they look like, tired old gentlemen, but that means there's no power anywhere in this area. We're going to now pan over my left shoulder to Knoxdale Elementary School. Uh, it's a uh, senior public school, right guys? Yeah. Senior public school with uh, trees down right in front of it. it. Doesn't look like anybody will be able to get in or out. But if you want a sense of just how capricious this storm was, how lucky some people are to be alive, let's have a look over my shoulder right there. And there is the trailer for a truck perched on the right edge of the roof of an Audi automobile. I think that might be one of the luckiest drivers alive in Ottawa today. Where were you when the storm hit? Uh, I was inside of my house. I was looking through the window, and uh, when the when I heard the sound of the tornado, I just ran to my basement just to stay safe. And thank God, nothing happened to my street. But a lot of the streets near it was completely destroyed. This is, as I said, one of the most important thoroughfares uh, in suburban Ottawa. It goes on for at least a half a kilometer. That means traffic is going to be a mess. That means kids won't be able to go to that school for a while. Uh, Hydro Ottawa said days, at a minimum days. Uh, this looks like it'll take a little bit longer to clean up than days. This is going to be out of commission for some time. This is Rob Russo in Ottawa. Okay, we're going to stick with our top story now and go to the Weather Network's Mark Robinson, who joins us from one of the communities that was hardest hit and was the first to get hit. We're talking about Dunrobin. So, Mark, thanks for making time for us. Describe the yeah, scene this around This was one you. of the first areas to get hit. Uh, this right behind you, as you can see here, this is Dunrobin, so and this is sort of the center of Dunrobin. Now, with this storm, this was uh, potentially even further, uh, further to the east, or excuse me, to the west than you might think. It's actually looks like it might have started uh, as far as Calabogie and we actually have been doing damage. I've been doing damage surveys sort of running through trying to see the whole thing and try to figure out exactly where the damage was. So I have seen damage off to the west. There was uh, a house uh, taken out and a uh, essentially a barn completely removed from the foundations. So quite a bit of damage. What we're seeing behind me here is uh, what looks to be some of the strongest parts of the tornado. I've also been to the, to the uh, excuse me to the east over by the river and and that area, again, you're seeing major trees down. So this looks like right here where one of the strongest parts of the storm hit. And this was just because of the way that we had a, basically we had a, a fall storm with summer heat and moisture. Mix those two together and you get the ingredients for a very powerful tornado. And this is a result of that. Natasha? The Weather Network's Mark Robinson in Dunrobin, Ontario. Thank you. Now, the storm had a devastating impact on one of Canada's Paralympic athletes. Todd Nicholson was the chef de mission for the 2018 Paralympics and is a five-time Paralympian. The tornado destroyed his home. We reached him at the West Carleton High School in Ottawa and asked him to describe what happened. Everybody's okay. Uh, from what I understand, the majority of people uh, have gotten out okay and um, there's possibly one casualty, but um, again, not, not life-threatening, hopefully. So ultimately, that's all that really matters. Um, as you said, my wife and I and my family, we're all okay, but we have lost absolutely everything. Uh, I've got a beer fridge that's sitting in my garage. Uh, that is the only thing that is untouched, uh, but everything else is gone. 
So luckily we uh, we were actually doing peer support education at the Ability Center Ottawa at uh, Earl of March High School. Uh, so we were with all the seven and eight students at uh, Earl of March High School. So luckily we were not home um, and uh, we decided to take the kids out for supper because they came with us. It's car fair this weekend. Car fair usually rains. We don't usually get this drastic weather, but uh, car fair usually gets a little bit of rain. Um, and then the windstorm came through. Um, my brother lives about 35 kilometers west of me. Uh, his house has also been totally destroyed. Um, it uh, touched down in his backyard, came through this house, uh, literally went back up in the air again. It landed back here in Dunrobin, and it literally went down um, Porcupine Trail through Kesey Creek across uh, where the Dunrobin meat store is, and started heading towards the river. And then as we all know or have are hearing, it then started its way into the city. Uh, it is a massive path of destruction um, where um, there's a gentleman who was my next door neighbor and he said at 4.51, he was out on, the, on his backyard um, videoing uh, just the wind and how the wind was starting to pick up. Um, he ran into his basement, he came back out at 4.57 and everything had finished and there was nothing left of his house. Um, so again, such a short time frame and thankfully people were able to find shelter. Todd Nicholson lost his home in the storm. He was the chef de mission for the 2018 Paralympics and we reached him in Ottawa. And the Prime Minister offered his thoughts on the situation in Ottawa's region earlier today. He tweeted, in part, to everyone dealing with the aftermath of the tornado in Dunrobin, Ontario, and the Ottawa Gatineau area, stay safe. Follow the instructions of first responders and check in with people who might need extra help. We're also hearing from Ontario Premier Doug Ford, who issued a statement on the tornado, saying, On behalf of the government of Ontario, I want to tell the people of Ottawa that my thoughts are with them as they work to recover from the tornado and storm that impacted the Ottawa area yesterday, especially to the people of Dunrobin, who saw immense damage to their homes and community. I plan to visit the impacted areas tomorrow.